I wanted to think about a, a wall light that didn't necessarily look like light. I then started to, to, to think about Richard Serra, the, the American uh, sculptor. The, the, his work just fascinated me. And it started to make me think that we could do something that was very, very simple, but at the same time, beautiful. One of the important things about this light is quietness and simplicity. Three blades of, of metal held um, with, a, with a very simple and straightforward system um, that creates uh, structure, um, rigidity, as well as all of the sort of lighting attributes that we need it to. The proportion of each blade to the next and the relationships and the angles of, of each end at both ends was incredibly important. The curves are not the same, they're not, they're, they're not concentric. Um, and that in itself creates uh, quite exciting shadows and then when the light is on, um, very different lighting effects. We decided to call it uh, inner because the importance of this form is actually the voids within the spaces. Um, those voids create an um, interesting reflection both on the wall and on the blades themselves. And as you walk around, the shapes change. We've got this, this top light uh, in a vertical orientation, the bottom in a, in a horizontal one. This means that as well as getting direct light up and down the wall and out the ends, we're also bouncing it off the three components, creating lots more reflected light. White is the purest colour, fits absolutely perfectly with the pure nature of the shape and it allows the light to do the work. As a, an alternative we wanted to look at a finish that isn't another colour, but has a very natural materiality. This is an object that is almost wall sculpture. It's not a form that shouts at you, it's just a form that is interesting and is balanced and proportioned. This is actually the first light we've ever done and it was something we enjoyed doing very much.